But now we're going to get back to the shy. They released a trailer today. My subscribers want us to react to it so we can bring T-Streams back into the fold. Take a look at this trailer, and then we will break it down and talk about it. So y'all want me to evict Sonny? Come on now, that's cold-blooded. Yeah? I was raised on this chicken. You don't like this chicken? Yeah, we... Like, we I love like... Sonny like an uncle. He's always been there for me when I needed him, put money in my pocket when I was broke. But the way he doing things ain't working no more. Mm -mm. Like, you going up on the rent. Look, I don't want to. I don't have no choice. We know that. And the real is, he can't afford to pay you, but we can. Listen, what we're trying to say is we're still going to call it Sonny's, right? But just for the new generation. All she's saying is, we the next generation. Yeah. I mean, next generation? This ain't Star Trek. Bro, this is a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. Are you bringing somebody new? They not going to know the customers. They not going to know the neighborhood. They not going to know how shit works. They ain't going to last. Uh, but I'm from that block. I know that kitchen like the back of my hand. We doing you a favor. Oh, OK, that's what this is. You brought the kid in here, think you was going to soften me up, and I was going to do whatever you wanted me to do. No, I don't think so, OK? You can't get one over on me. Look, I'm trying to build a legacy for him. I'm trying to build a legacy for myself. Okay. And the numbers don't lie. And my food is bomb. Look, I bought you a piece of cake. You made that cake? Mm hmm. <laughs> T Stream, are they going to be able to snatch Sonny's restaurant from underneath his feet? Oh, man, that's. I'm that's, done with Emmett now, man. I'm done with him. What? Now, 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 now let, me, now, let me say this first, all right? So he just said he loved he loved a man like an uncle. Now he, he did take a verbal he took a verbal lashing out there at their little party the other night, which he and, deserved. Uh, yeah, uh, he deserved it. But man, that if if they if they do that, if they do that, that's gonna that's gonna expose a whole new cutthroat side to him. Uh, Man, that's gonna that's that'll be real ugly to do to the old man. Uh, I think they, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know if they're gonna pull it off or not. But man, that's 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 gonna show be nasty if they do. That's yeah. dirty. Yeah, Sharonda, your thoughts and opinions on what is going on with Emmett, Dominique, and Lil Rail. He going to hell. <laughs> is, is Tiff gonna come with him? <laughs> Tiff needs to leave him behind. She should have been listening to that little tarot card lady. Like, Ooh. Emmett doesn't care about anybody but himself. Like, Sonny literally gave him a manager job because he saw him struggling. He gave him a salary job with benefits so he can take care of all the little kids that he got. Mm -hmm. And this is how he does him. I just, I don't understand. Yeah. yeah. I, I made this argument last week when Larry felt like, Larry felt like Sonny went too hard on him. And I was like, he didn't go hard enough on him. Everybody, they need to go harder. That's the problem. Ain't nobody went hard on him ever. Right. Exactly. Well, Larry. This, is, this is what I was saying last week. I was saying that I thought that he went hard on him, too hard. But I was like, he what he should have done is he should have went hard on him. And then he should have pulled him aside and said, look, I know you've been doing this. Now we need to work out the business side of it together because you're doing it. We're going to make money. You don't get to just run up in my shop, use my stuff, and you're not going to share in the profits. We're going to do this together or it's not going to get done. And he wanted him to come to him because he knew what he was doing, but right. he was trying to give Emmett the time to be a grown man, which right. he can't seem to do, and he didn't do that. Yeah. I just, man, I just, I'll be honest with you. The way he's doing Sonny right now, I just can't care about Emmett anymore. I'm like, man, I was, and I just got done talking about how Emmett was going to be loyal and Hannibal would want to work with him because he's loyal. Now he's being just a, now he's about disloyal as you can get. Man, I, I trying, can't even, I, I just don't like dudes like that. I don't like the way, I don't like when people move like that. That's I just, was, I was trying to tell you that last week. I was trying to tell yeah. you that last week, man. I've, I've, you know, I've done business, seen it. I was like, man, you can't do a mentor like that. I mean, because at the end of the day, a good mentor is uh, a gift that keeps on giving for your whole entire life. And Sonny was trying to see himself in Emmett because Sonny's not perfect. 
Sonny has had some mishaps, but he saw himself resurrect that and he saw something in Emmett. And now the question leads to, first of all, how in the world are they going to get the contract to Sonny's place up from underneath him? It ain't like Emmett got money. I don't assume Dominique got money unless she got somebody she can borrow from. And then are they going to let Emmett and Dominique smash? It seems like they're going that way. T-Streams, what you think? Yeah, I, this is what I think was was going to happen, and it'll probably make make more for an interesting story. So I, I don't think Real is going to give it to him, uh, well, whoever the the landlord, whatever his name is. But I don't think he's going to give him the spot. All right, and it's going to it's going to force him to go back to Sonny apologetically to try to you know to try to win him over so so that they can try to do it, you know, try to do it together because they need that spot. And then I think, I think that may happen. And then later on, it'll end up coming out that he went and tried to take the spot from up under him. And uh, Sonny might end up going ahead, severing ties all the way with him. Uh, I, I don't, I don't really see him just, uh, just taking you know taking the man's stuff uh because of, i mean you know I, I just i just don't see it but uh man i, I hope yeah. they do it like that but i think that's i i think they're not going to get it and they're going to they're going to have to go back and actually face something mm -hmm. larry man i'm i just i'm wishing <laughs> bad things for emmett now man Ooh. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want him to succeed because I don't want to see him succeed like that. That's dirty to me. Like if he, as good as Sonny has been to him, I mean, this man literally gave you food to eat. He put money in your pocket and gave health insurance to your child. And this is the way you treat him. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like it wasn't like Emmett had some had a whole bunch that he was bringing to the table. It wasn't like Sonny saw. Emmett come through with this glorious resume where he's like, look, man, I got a degree in, 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 in restaurant, hospitality, whatever. And, and, and he saw a way that he can, that he could use Emmett's skills and talents. It was just, here's a young brother who's out there trying to make it. Let me give him a chance. And now Emmett's just basically stabbing him in the back. You know, it's like, I mean, he's not even bending him over. He's just straight stabbing him in the back. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't I don't wish well for Emmett at this point. I, I'm I, someone in the comments said that Hannibal's going to smash his girl. I'm kind of hoping he does. I hope he ends wow. up. You know, I hope he ends up. I hope he Corey ends up. Hardick where, was huh? going to do that. Because Corey, Corey Hardick, is it, it was in the episode when she was delivering some money. He was like, he's your man. You right. know, you mm -hmm. write. Right. So they were going to end up smashing. Yeah, and, yeah, and no, it's not I, too I late. I just don't, I'm not wishing Emmett well at this point because that was just super dirty, man. I don't know what made him go do that. I mean, he should have he should have done what Sonny was saying. I wanted you to be a man and come to me. And when when someone tells you that, they're mad at you in that moment and they fired you, but they left that window open. They told you what they want you to do. They literally opened the damn window and told you how to come through it so that you can talk to them. All he, Sonny's basically saying, I'm done with you right now, but you can come to me as a man and talk to me. And even in that, even with that knowledge, he Emmett can't be a man and goes talk to Sonny and say, hey, Sonny, I'm sorry. This is what I was doing. I didn't think that you would approve or I didn't think you would understand or I was afraid to come to you until I knew it was successful, whatever. But he's too much of a little boy, and he can't man up and just go talk to him. Instead, he needs to go behind his back and now and try and take his business. And let's not forget, Sonny is not just some, like, old crookedy man. Sonny's a straight-up G, you know? He's just a G who was smart enough to get out when he did and build a legitimate business so he didn't have to worry about looking over his shoulder for the rest of his life. So I, I just – I. Man, Emmett's just dumb. I, I I used to think Emmett was a smart dude, a little hustling dude, a little smart struggle man. Now I think he's just dumb and disloyal, and I don't wish him well. I feel you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to table this discussion to the last subject because it's almost my shift with my daughter. And we'll start with T-Streams, go to Larry, we'll end with Sharonda. T-Streams, what do you expect to happen in Episode 7? 
this is what I this is what I expect to happen. This is what I would like to see happen. All right. Uh, I'm still I sort of crammed to watch this, so uh, I'm still trying to get their names and stuff uh, together. Um, I do want to see the uh, the old bummy guy. Uh, Ronnie. Ronnie. Yeah, I would like to see him have his his shine moment. Uh, because he is he is hot on the trail of uh, of Keisha, mm-hmm. and so I I would like to see him have that that shine moment for him, especially seeing that uh, you know he he's lost everything now. You know he was just baptized again. He lost his grandma. You know, and so this would be this would really be a good way for him to have his you know have his his you know his moment. So I would like I would like to see that one. OK, I think. All right. I really think that um, they are going to have to go back and get with Sonny. But I think the twist, I think the twist is I think Sonny will actually eventually have the upper hand uh, by dealing, you know, by dealing with them. So I don't I don't think they're going to be able to, to snatch the uh, snatch the lease from up under him. But I could be wrong. But I, I do think they'll end up going back to him. Uh, I, I think Keisha will be uh, Keisha will be be found or, you know, within the next two episodes. And uh, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm looking. F- that's what I'm looking forward to. OK, Larry, yeah. balls in your court. So there's a couple of things I want to touch on with with uh, with the show and one with Kev. One is I still don't believe that those little white girls that were at the skating rink, I don't think that those little rich white girls would have ever in their lives been allowed to go to a skating rink on the south side of Chicago. Just don't see it. Their parents would have just said, nah, sorry, can't do it. Why don't we just rent out a skating rink over this way and we'll have the party here? There's no way in hell they would have allowed those little girls to go to the south side of Chicago at a skating rink. Two, Kevin, when you have a little rich private school girlfriend, even if you get mad, you do not leave her on the south side of Chicago alone at night in a diner. (laughs) I mean, come on, bro. For real. I mean, I know I've gotten mad at people and I've had to been like, all right, let me just drop you off. Okay, you're at your door. Don't say anything to me. I want to hear it. I just got you home safe. We're good. Never call me again. I know you're safe and now I'm out, you know, but you don't just get up and leave a girl like that. You saw when she was walking on the blackout, she was terrified, you know, she was terrified. Anyways, that was my business. The next episode, I think Ronnie's going to end up finding, um, I don't know if he's going to find her this next episode, but I think he's going to find Keisha a couple episodes before the finale. I don't think it's going to be a finale thing where they find her. I think that they need to find her before that so they can close out that storyline in the finale. So I think he's going to, I think he's going to find her before that. It maybe it'll be, cause I think next episode is what episode six, seven, seven. Sorry. So yeah, I think, uh, so I think they might find, I think Keisha might get found, found probably not next episode, but maybe, uh, but maybe episode eight, maybe nine. So we'll see. But, okay. uh, you know, it'd be interesting if what's her name got killed in the process. Who? Um, what's her name? Dre? Oh. Dre? Yeah. That would be because you know she's already talking to she's already talking to Keisha's mom, Keisha and Kev's mom, talking about we need to start the grieving process and all that. And they're already, you know, they're already planting the seeds of like maybe she's a good person, but maybe she's not wholly on, you know, as as, as I don't know, whatever. And so it would be interesting if, if if Ronnie goes and gets her, they go to the house to go try and get her, and they Keisha gets rescued. And maybe it's Dre that gets killed instead of Ronnie because I came out thinking Ronnie was gonna have to sacrifice himself for, her. but I'm thinking maybe Ronnie lives through this and that's his redemption. But maybe Dre gets popped in the process or gets hit upside the head with a trophy, you know. Oh, so, Lord. I mean, All that's right. what dude was about to do. He was about to hit Ronnie upside the head with a trophy. Yeah, well, I know. know? One thing. Ronnie better learn how to throw them hands before he be, before he go uh, confronting folks again. He getting exactly. pushed over and. He, 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 he does. So Sharonda, it's on you. You get the last word. 
What are you expecting in episode seven? I know somebody better find Keisha. Y'all been like hyping this up that I feel like I need to go watch episode seven tonight. Shoot. <laughs> well, well, you know, that's what we do on this channel. We are a hype machine for good things. And I'm gonna watch it. And, and hyping up episodes is one thing which we are gonna do. Um, so what is your reasonable expectation of anything that you think is gonna happen in episode seven? I mean, I feel like because Miss Ethel passed and she said that he's going to find Keisha, that he's going to find her next episode. Okay. Well, mm. ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it here. Sharonda thinks that we're going to have a Keisha sighting this coming episode. They've got to do it before the finale. You can't just have it at the finale because they've got to tie up these ends. Keisha's going to have to explain what was going on. Um, loved ones and emotions have got to get tied up. Personally, I think Keisha might find a way to escape on her own, but I'm not sure that it's going to be episode seven. Stay tuned. And who's please who's be sure. Who's going to do her hair when she gets out? Well, let me tell you what I think is going to happen with that. I think that she's going to be so traumatized by that man telling her the story of him liking that other chick with hair that she might just cut her hair short and be dead and say the hell with hair. No, she she th he said that, that he said she, he liked her hair because she wore it natural. So I keep, I think Keisha might go get a perm. She might go get her hair relaxed or go or go put a weave on or something. She might just she cut it wear off. Her hair natural again. Yeah, she might just go and cut it off and say, you know what? Um, not anymore. So we'll mm. see. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for us. Please be sure to go and check out the homegirl Sharonda at Pay or Wait. One of the best YouTubers out there. She lays it down. Be sure to subscribe to the living legend, Larry. Y'all know what kind of crazy you're going to get from him. And go <laughs> check out my boy T-Streams at his Facebook group. Thank you all for coming and sharing some time with us tonight. Me, Larry, and T-Streams will be back Wednesday night. We will discuss what we are doing with our stock options. I've made some crazy trades today and got some things lined up. And we'll, we'll discuss whatever's hot for TV shows that day as well. And until that next sex is hell video, we'll see you.